thanks for coming. Hi, this is for you. It's a chocolate mousse. Oh no, you shouldn't have. Are you kidding me? You have put together such a lovely dinner and have invited me into your home. It's the least I could do. I'm so glad the mask mandates are getting dropped. Finally, I get a chance to breathe clearly and enjoy the summer. It has been a, a tough couple of years. I'm glad to see things going back to normal a bit. Okay, sure, you get spared the inconvenience of wearing a little strip of fabric across your face. You do realize that the more relaxed these virus policies get, the more disabled and immunocompromised people will suffer and die. I do think it's unfortunate that disabled and immunocompromised people aren't taken into consideration for most policies. It's sad. Yeah, sure. They've basically admitted that masks don't do anything anyway, so it's really just this unnecessary symbol of wokeness. I have heard something to that effect, that masks aren't as effective as what we may hope they are. I guess I just keep wearing them because I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. I saw you at the grocery store the other day and you weren't wearing a mask. Nobody asked me to. There was no sign. So, see anything good recently? Oh, I just binged conversations with friends on Hulu. It was truly something else. Well, I absolutely adore Sally Rooney. I just think she has such a skill at crafting deeply intimate psychological portraits of characters that it just allows the viewer or the reader to be seen in a way that you don't always get with characters in books or on TV. I think another thing that's just brilliant about her work is that she doesn't utilize any plot tropes. So not only do you get so invested in the characters, but you truly get hooked into wondering what their fates will be. Oh, I started reading Normal People and just couldn't finish it. She just throws in socialism in such a casual way. It's off-putting. The class discussion is so shallow and just reeks of white feminism. Oh, yeah, I guess Sally Rooney is a Marxist. I forgot about that. I just like her stuff because it's so character-centered and torturously romantic. Yeah, that's one thing that does put me off about her. I just try to ignore all that socialist propaganda. I mean, how can anyone even call themselves a Marxist while living in a blatantly capitalist society? Are you just not participating in society? I think not. And let me tell you, if we did live in a socialist society, these artists, these social justice warriors would be the first ones sent to the gulag. Okay, note to self, don't become a socialist. You can't please anybody. Thank you so much for dinner. It all looks lovely. I can't wait to dig into that chocolate mousse you brought us for dessert. Oh, it's nothing special. I just wanted to contribute. See? How considerate. Contributing to the common collective. Sure, being communal is all nice and good at a dinner party, but you know what that means politically? Draining taxpayers' pockets, collecting welfare, all because you couldn't be bothered to get a job. And why? Chronic fatigue. Oh god, here we go again. If I had known my chocolate mousse would have sparked this kind of conversation, I would have just stuck with flowers. Do you know how hard it is to actually get social security as a disabled person? That's what chronic fatigue is, you know. A disability, comorbid, with a lot of other serious issues. Excuse me. Wow, that was assertive. It's been such a long time since we all got a chance to sit down and enjoy a meal together. Why don't we just steer the conversation away from politics? Okay, good. That worked. Now, what other topic can I bring up that we can all agree on? So, we've been having lovely weather, haven't we? 